Hey everyone, Sir Terman here again. And today we continue with the showcase of OPO sets and we move on to Bainsmoke Raju. And oh my goodness, I'm not gonna lie to you. I expected this deck to kind of not be my thing, but like this deck is so fun. So fun. You can just get so many units on the field and get them there quicker than what the opponent can deal with because you obviously can cheat them out earlier, right? Like you can play four Dawn to literally play a seven cost car a couple turns earlier. And it ends up being just so fun how many combos you can pull up with this deck. I, I really, really like it. Uh, the, the one thing I've, I've swell about this deck is that you literally build it entirely with Opio Sits cards. So aside from the two Queens that I have in this list, and obviously of course the Kayas and the Double Finger, Everything else comes from Opio Sid. So literally you can just build this deck by getting enough boxes from Opio Sid. So you're just asking your friends that are not planning to play Raid you to let you borrow their Bin Smoke kits, right? This deck is so fun and it can be pretty straightforward to build once Opio Sid comes out. I guess let me see. We do have a couple SRs, right? Yeah, I guess the Ichiji is an SR, the Bin Smoke. Uh, okay, you do have a lot of SRs, so that might actually get a little bit expensive here. But again, most people are probably not going to play Raju. Most people are going to be trying to play like Moira and Sakasuki and Yamato, right? Or or even uh, or even Perona. So I don't expect this deck to be very popular. So just ask your friends like, hey, let me borrow your Bismuth cards. Um, I just play it out. I, I think this deck is actually going to be probably be one of the one of the cheaper meta decks that we might have in Opio 6. And it's so good. It's so good. I'm so hyped. I just got done recording all the games for the next three videos, and I cannot believe how hard this deck is. So let's quickly go to what this deck can do. If you haven't read this card yet, when one of your dumb cards on the field is returned to your deck, you draw one card. And that might not mean a lot, but almost every turn you are kind of returning down to your deck because a lot of your cards have minus one down effect. Heck, even the queen that we're playing here. So you're able to kind of just consistently get this one draw every single turn. So it kind of feels a little bit like Uta, where you kind of get that one free draw every turn when you attach a down to her. Except that Ryu doesn't need you to attach a down to her. So like, you just get this draw for free anytime that you're using one of your other effects, which ends up being like a positive for you. So you kind of end up double dipping in this positive value. Now, this deck ends up having a lot of cards in their hand, but the, 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 the really key part of this deck is just being able to, again, just fill your board by cheating out these kids, uh, the, the, the Bismol kids, sooner than what you need to do and, and be able to kind of do it with less done, right? One of the cards that I think is very important and I will always mulligan for this card is the German Kingdom. This German Kingdom is so important because it lets you discard a card from your hand and then you look at three cards and you get to reveal a German card. The reason why this is important is because you want your big Bainsmoke kits. So the seven cost Ichiji, your five cost Niji, your four cost Jonji, and your four cost Riju. You want these cards to be in your discard because the smaller Bainsmoke kits are able to summon them from your hand or from your trash, right? So by having them in your trash, it ends up being more valuable because you're not giving up a card from your hand instead. You just get to summon them from the trash. So by having the German Kingdom, even though the cost of discarding one might seem a little bit expensive, you end up discarding a card that you want to be on your trash, right? So you end up discarding, most, most of the time you're gonna be discarding your, your big bin smoke kits, right? And potentially just drawing the small kits in return or potentially a judge to go for some combo turns on turn on your eight down turn or later. So so that's that's why this card is so important. It lets you fill your, your trash with the big kits as well as be able to just have, uh, be able to consistently draw more cards into your hand. Aside from that, the rest of the cards are pretty straightforward. This is probably one of the best, and uh, this is probably the best of the kids, right? It gives rush and also has minus 2k to one of the opponent's blockers. So it can let you put a lot of pressure into the opponent when they're not expecting it. Uh, you can have the Niji letting you KO or return a blocker to the opponent's hand. Uh, I only play two Junji. He's probably the worst out of the four kids, but the blocker can still be very useful when you are going against something like a Yamato that you need to S block. And the Raju is probably just on par with the Ichiji. Again, this deck has a lot of draw, right? So if you have like five cards in your hand, uh, I guess you need to have four because you're gonna get one draw when you get your 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 uh your Raju. No, I guess you need to have five. Yeah, if you have five cards, 
no, you need to have four because you'll draw one with the raid you first, taking you to five, and then the second raid you will take you to seven cards, right? So this can be so good as well at filling up your hand again, and you end up just having all these cards and all these draw. This there's a lot of games where I end up with like ten cards, and the opponent only has like four or five cards, and it just ends up being such a big advantage that they're not able to kind of get through it. And then again, because you're summoning so many units, it ends up being kind of crazy, and eventually. When you get to your eight done turn, when you get to play this judge, you literally can bring all the small bin smokes back from the trash and be able to summon the big ones again. And uh, yeah, it ends up being kind of crazy because you end up just refilling your whole board and then next turn, opponent has to kill you, almost like you're going to kill them. It's a very fun, very fun combo deck. We have a couple of 2Ks here and I even get to play two puddings because this can punish a lot of players that end up kind of keeping a big hand in a big hand on themselves. So yeah, hope you enjoyed these games with Raid You. Honestly, this leader has been amazing to me. Today we're gonna start with two games, one against Sakasuki and one against Enel. So I hope that you enjoy that since you're gonna probably face those decks a lot in OPO sets. Enjoy the games and I'll see you all later. In this match, we're gonna against Sakasuki. So obviously the opponent has a lot of removal. Um I don't have the stage. I don't have Riju. I think we were supposed to always mulligan that. Unfortunately, we don't have the two cost Riju, so we're not drawing here. Hmm. And I don't have anything in the trash to actually play this out. I could play the Niji. I could also just play Kaya. <laughs> I mean, I'm not opposed to playing Kaya here. I might actually have to play this Kaya. I, I, I'll, I'll play the Niji out first and force, I, I, I force the opponent to kill this. Because we can always play Kaya and still have enough Dawn to play something else next turn. And opponent actually gave me a 2k there. So I think we'll go like this. Yeah, we'll go here. So we can play Kaya out next turn and it's still be in a decent spot. Opponent... Probably give me the 2k because they want to have enough cards in their trash for Lushi. Ooh, it's going to be a Kusan. Oh, that's more annoying. I guess we can bounce this back, right? If we get the uh, if we get the, if we get the 5 cost Niji, we can always bounce this to the top. Yeah, I think we take it just in case that we could have gotten it. Unfortunately, we didn't. All right, so we have one search here, and there's the Niji. So we want to bounce this to the top. And we can do that here. That leaves me with one. With one Dawn. So we can actually go ahead and do the Kaya like I wanted to. Uh, we can trash this. And we can trash one of the Reju's. I guess we can go for the stage at this point too, right? Uh, we're not getting the stuff that we need, right? We're not getting what we need. We can go here. We're going to send this back, right? And this still gives me... I guess we can play... I don't want to play this this uh, this Jungi out because then it just means that the opponent will be able to... Uh, to to uh, hand place this. They could potentially... Like, they could go like a Lushi... Get rid of this and get rid of this at the same time. So I think we keep we keep these cards in our hand until we're ready to actually play them. Unfortunately, we're, we 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 haven't seen the two cost read you right, which is what we want for what we want it, so that we could like refill our hand. But we do have two in the discard now. Plus we have the stage. So the moment that we actually go for it, we should be okay. Yeah, there you go. So they go like this, and then they're gonna go for Lucy and KO both. Opponent has eight cards. Do we ever go for pudding? Do we ever go for pudding? Hmm. That's it's tempting. I mean, we're only it's only minus two here, right? And we have to do a minus one ourselves. I don't know if that's worth it. Maybe if they take maybe if they take more cards. Maybe if they take more cards, it ends up being worth it. Uh, hmm. I don't want to take this damage. I really don't want to take this damage. 
I think I want to stay at three life for now until I can get more resources in my hand. We don't have neither Jonji or Ichiji. Yeah, we go like this. This is the Ichiji, but it doesn't matter right now. Well, I guess it will matter. If I go here, opponent will easily be able to kill this guy. I could also just straight up play the Riju like this. Yeah, I mean, I'm not opposed to that. The funny thing about, so I could go for this John G pudding like I was talking about. And maybe that's fine. Maybe that's fine. And we have four, four, four units that the opponent has to deal with. Let's attack for five first. I guess this is what's gonna... Mm. Now I feel like if I attack, the opponent's just gonna counter, right? So maybe we don't attack. Maybe we just go ahead and do it. Yeah, we'll go ahead and do it. And uh, now we attack for five here. So we got, we had them, we can't, we pretty much had them lose two cards here, right? So now if they counter, they go to four cards. Okay, they went ahead and actually counter out. So then we go here, we go minus one, and uh, we'll play it from our hand, and we get another one. So we can trash it next turn with the German Kingdom. We are kind of getting close to a judge turn though, right? I mean, I guess every turn we're losing one down, so that's not exactly. We, we'll be a seven next turn, but then the turn after we'll be at eight. Uh, we have one here, two. We can we can get the Ichiji down. Okay, so the point is gonna just play Handblaze here or a second Lushi. So the good thing about this pudding is that she is still a 4k unit, right? So we could attack into whatever the opponent attacks into us, right? Like... Interesting. So you're going to attack for 6 there, and I'll give you the 2k. We'll take 6, we'll take 5, I guess. Do we actually take the 5? Why don't we just throw this Ichiji down? And keep it there for the judge later. We'll take the sits. We'll trust the Jonji. Ah, this is a Riju. So we get the Riju now, right? So we can go Riju. Let's get our draw first. Ah, here we go. All right, so I want to keep myself a sits done so that I can go to eight next turn. So I could go Jerma here. And then be able to attack their board. I mean, this Suru doesn't matter, right? Like, am I actually scared of this Suru? There's no way that that matters. So we can go six. I guess we can go eight. Yeah, there's no way that the opponent actually saves this, right? They have to give me two cards here. There's no way you save this. Right? And if they do, I think it's worth it to go for sits into it and force their last card out of their hand. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say that. That would be a little bit odd. Question here is, do we play the slow game? So, we don't have Ichiji on the discard yet, right? On the on the, on the the grave. So, I think we just go and grab this Ichiji right now while we have the chance. My question here is, do I actually attack their life or do I just go ahead and commit to killing their Suru? I might just commit to killing their suit, to be honest. And maybe we play a second Jerma here. I guess I have to be careful about the opponent having access to... Uh... Yeah, like... Oh, wait, I have, I have to keep that. I have to grab that. I, I was going to grab the queen. I was like, oh, yeah, I can grab the queen here, but that's not true. I guess the opponent's going to have Moira, right? The Moira can bring back Lushi and Tashigi. That's not a Moira. Uh, I have to be scared here. Okay, that's not a Moira. The opponent drew Tashigi from the brand new, trash the Ice Age and the Eruption. And we can kill that Hina, maybe. I mean, keeping the lone cards is not bad because we know we can get a lot of cards. The problem is that I'm only at two life. They get the Hand Blaze. 
So yeah, especially with Handblaze, they can, I mean, they still need discount, right? To be able to use Handblaze. These are both forecasts. Another brand new. Okay, so we know they have Handblaze in their hand and we got to know a second car in their hand here. Helmepo. Okay, so the Helmepo can let them do minus three and be able to actually Handblaze one of these things. And this is where it gets risky, right? That the opponent has all these cards. But, 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 like opponent should be going for life here, right? Yeah, so we go down to one. We go down to one. We can kill the Hina very easily. We can counter here with the Reju. Uh, do I keep this girl alive? We're going to fill the board, right? We have all the kids here, don't we? One, two. Ah. Uh... Okay, so actually, one, two, three. We need to actually counter here to get this Ichi into the trash. And then we let them put the last down. I guess they can do it, right? So then we go here. Let's do this. Let's do this first. Let's just get our draw. Sure. We'll go here, use the car action. We'll return the dawn. Uh, we're going to send this one and we're going to send. I guess we'll send pudding down. So then we can go here. Here, oh, we should uh, read you and uh, which one am I missing? Where's my thing? Where's my uh, yeah, here we go. We go like this, right? So then, uh, this one is easy. We'll target that one, we'll go here, and this is the this is the cute part, right. And uh, this one is going to KO cost two or less, right? So we can KO the Helmepo or the brand new. We're going to KO this, right? I want to kill this. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. Because I can kill this. I can attack here. And I can attack seven into the, into the leader. The opponent has four attacks. We don't have we have one blocker that can get removed. Opponent gave me the hand blaze earlier. They go to Shigi here. If they get a second hand blaze, I guess that could be problematic. Gray eruption. Yeah, so if they have gray eruption into a Lushi or a hand blaze, but that's spending a lot of dawn. And I'm I'm feeling confident that I can counter out of the rest. They have to somehow kill us this turn because they're not surviving this board. They're not surviving the next attack. Yeah, so they're gonna they have to have a Lushi. And the Lushi is gonna be four. I guess again, Handblaze is the problem here. Um because Handblaze is two. They trash their blocker, so I think they also understand they need to kill us this turn. I did put my that, that's that's one of the reasons that I didn't want to go down this slow in life. Because when I play this judge, I only really have this Jonji, right? They also gave me their 2k counters, so they're definitely not surviving. Even if you, like, if I can survive here, you're not surviving this. We have a 2k, okay, so we have 5k counter and a life, and opponent only has 3, 6, 7 down left, and they need to spend at least 2 down to get rid of the Jonji. That's why Humblaze will be the most dangerous part here, because the Humblaze means that they get to get rid of the blocker and still get the plus three, right? They have shown us two hand blazes. They have shown us two hand blazes here. Uh, we got rid of the Hina. Opponent just gave me a 2k counter. They do still have two life. But it's an 8k, a 7k, and a 6k. That's a lot of dawn that the opponent just used there. So it's Sabo. So I guess they ended up not finding it. Rebecca goes bye-bye, Lushi goes bye-bye. So they did have the Lushi, but they just opted to say that they couldn't do anything. So here we just block with the Jonji, get the free block. 
Jonji Sasitsuke because we have out less done than our opponent. And uh, yeah, if they attack for five, we can just take it. Ah, okay. So it was the it was the Amano Marukuno. All right. So one blocker. One blocker. Uh, do we have another? Need? I guess we can't do anything. So one blocker, two life, four attacks. So if we just go seven, seven, nine. Well, I guess we don't have that much done. That's the problem here. We don't have that much done, huh? Mm -hmm -hmm. Can I survive one more turn? If I play another blocker here with the Niji. So if I play, if I play the blocker, but I don't have a blocker anymore because the opponent sent it back, right? Opponent send it to the bottom, so I actually don't have the blocker anymore. I don't have the blocker anymore. If I go seven, 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 ah, this is this is tough. This is very tough. This is very tough. I could go. I could go Ichiji. Do I have a second one? I do have a second one, right? I could go Ichiji, and that will give me another 7k. So we can go like 6, 6, 7. I guess, I guess it has to be like this, right? It has to be like this. I'm going to go ahead and do it first. Just so that I can have that. Uh, I can have this value here, right? So then actually, I don't need to attack for 6 anymore. I can attack for 5. And tell the opponent, you either counter out of this, or you're going to have to give me the blocker anyways. So they actually take it. So now we just have seven hits everywhere, right? So we can just go seven here first. I'm going to keep the dawn in case I'm going to go for nine. So seven is forcing two cards of the block. I, f I almost forgot about the rusher. I'm glad I ended up seeing the line that I had another Ichigi in my discard. Okay, so yeah, this should be game, right? Because we can go seven and then nine. And then six. So like this seven is gonna force two cards out. So then if the opponent gives me the two cards here, then I just attack for seven here again, right? Okay, yeah. I mean, oh they, they got the brand new back, so they got one at uh, 1k. But again, it's still the same thing. This forces two cards or the block, which then means that I can attack for seven here and force. The, the opponent doesn't have enough cards, right? Like, this this is game already, no matter how we do it. We go 7. If the opponent blocks, then we can go 9. And opponent can counter out with all 3 cards, and we still have a 6k attack. If they counter out here... If they counter out here, we still go 7 here. I mean, at this point, it doesn't matter, right? Because the opponent gave me all their cards. But, you know, this is, the, this is what I would have done, right? I would have gone 7. If they counter out of the 7, opponent only has 1 card left. So there's no way for them to counter out of this 7, which means that they have to block. And then we still have the 8k. If they instead block, then we could have just gone for 9, force all 3 cards out of their hand, and then attack for 6 to finish the game. Yeah, so the, the, the rush ended up being the clutch fire here. I'm actually glad that I didn't have a, that I didn't have the Jonji in my discard, because I feel like I would have gotten baited into playing that Jonji if I had it. So, GG's. In this match, we're going against Enel. I'll go second. Uh, ooh, we do have the Riju. I I, I want to look for the stage, right? I want to look for the stage. And here we go. We get the stage. We get the German 66. So this is kind of like more what you want to look for, right? So that you can go stuff like this. Oh, we don't get any of the big boys. <laughs> That's kind of weird. I'm looking for the big boys, right? I'm looking for the big boys here so that I can discard them with the stage. That's our Reju, right? So we can go ahead and take that Reju because we can then discard it with the stage and also play the second Reju here. Um, we do have a lot of cards, though. I want to take a life here. I want to take a life, even if it means that I have too many cards and I don't get the draw from this Reju, uh, because it means that it keeps my, keeps my units out of range of Gedatsu. And notice what the opponent did here, right? The opponent didn't give us the Gedatsu value. Uh, they, they, didn't, they didn't give up that get that swimming. Yeah, so we'll go like this. And I guess we got the second big boy here. Uh, we'll go like this. And we'll grab this. This one now, right? 
So we'll grab the Ichigi. Um, I just want to pass, to be honest. Oh, maybe I just attack for seven here. Maybe I just attack for seven here. Again, I, I don't want to play into Gadatsu. I don't want to play into Gadatsu, so I don't think I'm ever playing this Riju, right? Um, or or the Jonji. So I'm just gonna attack for seven and tell the opponent you can take it, right? He also helps me build my Don up. I get you know eventually I can obviously get my um my my judge, right? So next time we're probably gonna discard the Ichiji because it's a non counter card. Uh, we can counter out with the Jonji, but again, we we want to take one life. We want to take one life so that we don't have to worry about Gadatsu to killing my uh, killing my my Riju for free. So yeah, the opponent knows that I have it in my hand too, right? Because they saw me grab. I, I, I grabbed this to begin with, didn't I? I can't remember now if I actually grab if I actually grab this with the search. What are they thinking? I mean, you always take this life, right? You you don't care about going down to three. But we have a good hand right now, right? We have a good hand. We have the Riju here. We have the Ichiji here. We have the Jonji. All we're missing is the Niji. Um, I guess, yeah, all we're missing is the Niji. We have all four kids. And we have three of the four bigger kids, <laughs> right? So... Yeah, we're just missing the Ichiji, and we can easily find it with the Germa Kingdom. We did bottom deck one, I guess, uh, that I remember. Maybe even two. I didn't pay attention. Come on, opponent. Just attack me, man. It also looks like they're playing potentially a more big mom version of, of this deck, considering they're playing Sanji. Um, so I'll probably have to worry about, like, 10 cost big mom later. Right? Surely. I mean, what I can do is that I can... Oh, perfect. Thank you. Oh, that's actually kind of huge, too. Oh, it's just Okiku. All right, all right. So, interesting. Yeah, so we'll trash this one. We'll get the judge, honestly. Yep, let's just get the judge. Um, I'm not going to be able to play judge, judge for another two turns, though. Playing Riju here doesn't make any sense because I'm not going to get the draw. Playing this doesn't make sense here. I could just go ahead and play my blocker or I can also just go for the 7k, right? Like, does he, does he, does he hurt us going for this guy? And we can attack 7 twice and get the opponent to 1 HP? Maybe that's the play. Maybe that's the play here. We go 7. I don't want to use two kid abilities this turn because I want to be able to actually get to the judge in the next couple of turns. So let's go here. Let's go like this. Choose no targets and attack them for seven. They are playing Okiku, so we have to worry about triggers now that we're at three life. They don't hit a trigger. I mean, going down to one life this early is dangerous, especially if we... Like if we can get an if we can get these rushers later on, like this is one of the best cards in this deck for a reason. So we'll be a seven down next turn, which does allow me to okay, opponent's gonna be able to swap, I guess, right? Well, no, so they don't swap, they just don't know which one it is, right? So uh we can give you the one K here, because obviously we want this to be in the discard anyways. Okay, now they get to now, now they get to kind of replace it however they want. So they get to replace it here however they want. They get to attack me for seven again next turn. We don't have... Sorry, they get to attack for seven here again. We don't actually have enough counter, huh? I want to keep this. Uh, this is so. This is such good value. But I don't want to go down to one. I guess... Okay, so which one are we going to play next turn? Are we going to play Riju? Because if we counter three here, we'll be at one, two, three, four, five. I guess we are going to go for the Riju, right? So I guess we can give you the Ichiji. Because we need to get them all into the discard as well to actually set up for the, uh, for the judge. So what if we go like this and we just swap the opponent's hand out? 
like they kept in they keep in nine cards right so we can actually do our thing let's go here first i don't know that i need another judge or another ichiji i already have two uh, well i'm gonna have two i guess i already have one there uh let's grab the Ryu, i guess like i don't think we ever get to play two judge right because by the time we play judge we're looking to finish the game yeah, we're gonna go like this, get them down to five cards, right? Um, we can go ahead and kill their units, maybe, because we're not gonna go after their life, right? We know that the opponent has a trigger here. Or should we get rid of that trigger now, but it's probably gonna be like a beige or something? Yeah, so what, if, what about we just go like this? We're gonna draw a lot, right? We're gonna draw a lot here. So we, we just got rid of four cards out of their hand, by the way. We go for eight. That's 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 where this pudding is really clutch. If you want to give me two counters here, I'm actually okay with this because that's gonna take your card. That's gonna take your hand size really low. Okay, I mean that's still two cards, right? So that's kind of what I was looking for. And uh, we'll go here. We'll use her, play the Riju, and now we have a bunch of cards again, and have another five k. And then next turn we can play Judge. Next though, we can play Judge and fill our board up, even if the opponent kills this uh, this Ichiji. Uh, I think they're just going to go for life, right? They're probably just going to go for life. So I think I'm just going to go start countering now. Just put myself in a situation where I'm not dying. Because when I, at the moment that I play... Um, let's go here. The moment that I play this Judge, I am going to put myself vulnerable, right? Ooh, that, I mean, that Yori is pretty nice. So we know we're going to play Judge here. So this is not going to get to attack. We're going to get another Rusher. One is going to have a 2k here. We have three attacks. We have three attacks. Mm, I guess let's go like this. Let's go like this. I want to see if the opponent gives me the Okiku or gives me a 2k. Oh, you know what? I should just play the judge first, right? Okay, it didn't matter. Yeah, I, I do also forget that the Okiku lets them get a life back, by the way. So that's on me. I did, I did completely forget about that. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're just going to go judge. Use the car action. We'll return this done. Uh, we'll trash this and we'll trash this. And uh, I do want to play the Riju, right? And I want to play the Ishiji, which will replace here. And I think I do want to play the blocker, to be honest, over this guy. Uh, where's uh, where's my two drop? Here we go. I don't know that I actually give them the second. I don't think that I give them the second. I don't think I discard this Ishiji here. So I think we just go Jonji because we're going to have the blocker and that's it, right? And then here we can go Riju, return a Don, play this out, go here, return a Don, play this out. Uh, yeah, I mean, I could attack here and I actually think I am going to attack because if I assume that this is a beige, I want to give it to the beige right now. Remember, they stacked that life there. They stacked that life there, so I'm going to say that that's a beige. Okay, it was, uh, you're the one who should disappear. So the opponent gets to have back to two life. All right. No, that's fair. That's fair. It does mean that they cannot play Yamato, right? Because they're back to two life. But I really wanted to, I, I, I really was thinking that that was going to be a beige. So by attacking with the Ichiji there, it made it so that we could get rid of like a beige because we had already used all our attacks. Uh, opponent only has two attackers. We do have a blocker. Right? So we do have a blocker. Um, do we go down to one? Do we feel safe at one? Hmm. Remember they had the Hiyori in their hand as well. We can get more draw here with this Riju. I could just save this as well. 
I could save this and have two blockers. Sure. They go for an L, they go for the 8K, so they're gonna take me down. Okay, they're gonna just get rid of the blocker instead. Can, do I save this? Like, this blocker is less powerful because of the fact that it can just get punished. Uh, by the way, what we should do here is actually kill this NL first. So we know that we can play this HG and get another rusher and be able to get that NL to, to three. I think if we clear their board, we just get there. If we clear their board, we just get there. So we'll go here. We'll grab another Sura. All right, so the question is, do I want to play this first or do I just want to attack for... Like, I, I think I just want to attack for nine here. Like, I think I'm just going to attack for nine here. See if the opponent actually saves it. And if they save it and trash this card... Okay, they decided not to. But so since, since, since they decided to not do that, I think we'll go like this. So this is now at six, right? So that's at six and uh, allows me to go ahead and do this. Attack for eight. All right, so then we attack for five. And the opponent only has one attacker. We don't have, okay, they have another attacker now. They do have another attacker now, unfortunately. So we'll go five. They gave me the Gedatsu and Gedatsu. So they still have the Hiyori in their hand, which is a 2k counter. They gave me the 1k here. We'll go here. If this is a blocker or a beige, that's the only punish. Otherwise, I can take them down to zero here. I guess it could also be that thing that gives them life again. Ah, okay. So they gave me the Hiyori here, and it was not a trigger. So they go down to zero. If they, even if they have Yamato, they don't get to KO anything. I guess they could go ahead and put five here. Ooh, okay. So this can go... Well, unfortunately for the opponent, I have too many 2Ks, right? I wasn't playing around reject, right? So the reject was a little bit unfortunate. Yeah, unfortunately for the opponent, my whole hand was counters, right? So... No, that, I, I, I need to start playing around this card, right? Going down to one life means that the opponent can actually do this. It does mean that they have to spend four Dawn. So they only attack for 11. So the good thing with this deck is that I get to draw so much that I just have so many cards. And as you saw, we search for one Sora. We end up getting the, or, the other Sora, right? So uh, even if we didn't get that Sora from the top of our life, we did have all the 2k counters that we needed to be able to stabilize. So GG's. Hey, welcome back everyone. Hope you enjoyed those first games of Ryu against Sakasuki and against Enel. And I love both those games because both those games showed exactly what makes this deck so powerful. We got to see the judge coming down, allowing us to refill the board, even against something like Sakasuki that has a lot of removal. And then both games, we kind of got to see Ichiji just getting so much value because of the rush. Like, this card is so good for this deck, right? So that's kind of how you're going to play most of your games with, with Radio. A lot of them are going to look the same way. You're going to just try to find your, again, you try to find your Jerma Kingdom discard a lot of stuff and just eventually just try to keep putting pressure into the opponent with each G and eventually with your judge right you just have to be a little bit careful that you're saving enough done to actually be able to get to the eight on turn and be able to play your judge so yeah hope you enjoy we do have two more videos already coming over the next today so if you want to keep up to date with that make sure to like it below and subscribe to us we post one piece videos every single day enjoy your day and i'll see you tomorrow